Today in our live online ICND2 class, I did a demonstration for the students of our Live Gear virtual labs, and I showed students how to get the most out of those labs by doing verifications of each of the assigned steps in the labs. Well, I want to go ahead and build on that in this particular demonstration. I want to talk to our students about making sure they practice with things broken on their real gear lab practices. That's right, a good friend of mine, a triple CCIE, Marvin Greenlee, once emphasized to me, make your students practice with the configurations, intentionally breaking them. That way, they will know how to troubleshoot in a certification exam environment. So let's say we are to build a circuit a PPP circuit between R5 and R2. So I'll go to the serial 020 interface. I'll say uh, IP address, uh, let's just do 10.10.10.5. We do our NCAP PPP command. We do show controllers serial 020. Let's figure out where our DCE side is. This is the DTE side, so there's no need for clock rate over here. I'll go ahead and no shut the interface and, and we'll slide over to the R2 device. We'll go into that interface, assign the IP address 10.10.10.2 We'll go ahead and set the encapsulation to PPP. We'll set our clock rate to, let's do something that'll always work, like 64,000, and we will no-shut the circuit. So you see, this is where most students will go in, they'll do this perfect practice on the real gear, they'll see it come up, up, they'll go ahead and they'll do their ping, and they'll say, okay, great, I can reach the other side over this PPP circuit, and they stop. I want you to go that extra step with your hands-on practice here at stormwind.com. So you're going to go in and you're going to say, okay, what would happen if I go into this interface and set the in cap to HDLC? What would happen if I force a mismatch in the encapsulations. And I want you to study this broken scenario even at the CCNT, the CCNA levels, absolutely. So you do a show IP interface brief at this point. You see that on this side where we've set the HDLC, we're in an up, up status on that particular circuit. If we go over to the neighboring R5 device and do our show IP interface brief, you see that we're in an up, up situation here reported with this encapsulation mismatch here. Wow, can we ping? We go to ping the other side and we can't. So you see how deceptive these things can be and you see exactly what this encapsulation mismatch in this particular case will look like. By the way, we just had a down of the line protocol once a certain time period elapses. So now we're in the classic up-down state that one might expect on this side. And if we go over to the R2 device and we take a look at the status over there, we're up-down there as well. So this is now that some time has elapsed, the classic look at the error condition in the case of this encapsulation mismatch. So you see just how much fun you can have with these live gear hands-on labs. Sure, do your perfect practice. Go in and configure that PPP circuit so that everything works beautifully, but then spend a little extra time. Break things, see what it looks like broken, and then, of course, have some fun practicing it with a repair.